ago before I came here, I remember thinking like, what the fuck am I going to talk about? <laughs> I was so concerned, I actually Googled what the fuck is going on in Canada. And there was a headline, Punjabi. That's what I'm talking about. My juts in the building, baby, let's go. All the way from the Bramley City Center, all the way. <laughs> Punjabi separatists assassinated. I said, oh no. They got Trudeau. They got him. They got him. They got Justinder. How the hell? How the hell did they assassinate Justinder? Did they force him to kiss his wife on camera? How did they? Then I look up the details of the story. The dude was assassinated. India sent some motherfuckers here to assassinate. I'm like, why is nobody talking about this fucking story? Then I looked up the guy who's assassinated his name. His first name is Hardeep. His last name is spelled N-I-J-J-E-R. That's too close. That's too fucking close. I'm sorry. White people, we can't share this story. We gotta sit this one out. I saw Punjabis in the streets like, say his name! We're like, we would love to, but we can't. We just... Can you even give us that pass? Can you give us an N-word pass? And they shot him, right? Is that what happened? Oh. Jesus. Now, to be fair, if you're good at assassinating him, you've gotta shoot him. Because you can't poison him. Because y'all eat your food. <laughs> Indian stomachs are indestructible, bro. You could put plutonium in butter chicken and they'd be like... A little spicy, a little bit spicy, maybe. Poisoning is for white people only, bro. You could assassinate me with cilantro, bro. I'm out easy. They got shots with a garnish, bro. They garnished them. All I'm saying, bro, is unbelievable. An Indian was killed on Canadian soil. And it wasn't in a residential school, man. Can you believe? 